Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. Just a simple red hill on the beach. It's an island, I'm assuming. I have no idea. But the idea is that on the uh, with the setting sun and the red earth, this looks like some kind of alien world. It just looks too red. Too red to be normal. But... Uh, there you go. There's the uh, there's the setting sun for us. You can see some footprints over here. Beautiful sands. These are the kind of sands you know they're they're, they're filled with water because the tide uh, goes above it. But uh, just walking in this, you know, your feet do that sort of squishy thing. Oh, it's it's fantastic. Um, so the real question is, where are we? Well, we know a few places with red earth. Australia. It's got some red earth. Other than that. Uh, South Africa does too, as well as uh, as Brazil. Red Earth is along this line. So are we going to go with like Australia or something weird like that? Sure. Let's go with uh, like a fun island. Is there any interesting islands near Australia? Yeah, there are plenty. Let's go over here. There you go. Three Hummock Island. Yeah, that sounds like fun. The answer was, well, was it an island? No, it was not an island. It was uh, this uh, dong over here that sticks out north of Perth. Oh, okay. Is there a name for this place? The uh, Francois Perron National Park? Or, well, who knows. Uh, right near Denham. Denham in Western Australia. We were all the way up here at uh, this point. 1743. Hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. This is a very cool spot. We got a big hill over here, and we seem to be on uh, the very peak of some sort of island or peninsula or something. But uh, we've got a nice trail that uh, leads to it. A lot of people out here, definitely the view is uh, worth the trip. Also, you got a really nice beach here. I mean, if you... Uh, the waves are, I mean, the surf is pretty wild, but, uh, yeah, I mean, look at this surf. That is, it, the surf is pretty crazy here, but uh, you still got a really, really nice beach. So if you want to, you know, maybe, maybe not, you, you don't want to go full out, but uh, you want to get your feet wet, this seems like a great place to go. Or if you just want to sit here, feel the ocean breeze as the big waves uh, blow some mist onto you, just gaze out at the sea, seems a good place. And just in case something really terrible goes down, we got uh, some sort of uh, buoy here you can toss out uh, in case someone falls into the rocks when uh, the uh, when, when it's high tide. Man, would that ever be a bad situation. Also, it looks like there's some kind of like a fence gated area up here. You can go uh, view from a bit of a safer distance. Now, this is today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world you think this is. In tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won. So if you're interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we are going to be doing a viewer challenge as we always do. Wow, this is a very cool looking city. Wow, I want to find out where this is. This looks this looks amazing. That is, that's Cape Town. Oh, Cape Town. Wow, what a beautiful city Cape Town is. Uh, anyways, we're going to be doing a challenge uh, brought to us by Alun Gazwa. Thank you so much, Alun Gazwa, for this challenge. This one is just an ordinary challenge. Nothing special, no big deal, you know. There's no crazy theme. If you're interested in creating your own custom challenge, just like this one, or with a theme, or whatever. I'm always looking for new challenges, so I would love to uh, get some new ones. Uh, if you're interested, all you need to do is look down in the description below to find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. Thank you so much, Alan Gazwa, for this one. Let's give it a shot. Boom. Challenge accepted. Right off the bat, we are at a, there's a very big building. It, it looks beautiful. It's white. There's a dome. Very nice looking building. We got some people around here. Uh, they're just looking at the camera. We've got uh, a lamp post. We've got vehicles. Okay. Ah, that's what I was thinking. Black license plates. Now, our friend Alun Gazwa is from Indonesia. 
and well, everything pretty much matches with a high likelihood of this being Indonesia, black license plates, and and the rest that we can really see uh, pretty much uh, points us to there. So that's definitely where we're going to be guessing. The real question is where are we? And unfortunately, there's nothing really, there's nothing really that's much more of an indication now. We're not like in, we're not in like downtown Jakarta. We know that much. We're not going to be in downtown Jakarta. Uh, what else do we know? I, we're not in, well, we might be in Surabaya. We were there the other day. I don't think this is Surabaya. I'm going to go with this is Semarang City. I think that's a good idea. I mean, we could be obviously in many other places in Jakarta and we could be definitely in Surabaya, but I, I mean, hmm. I don't know. This is a very this this looks it is a great looking this is a great looking place. Sure, let's go let's go Semarang City. I feel like we're gonna be on the the main island Java. I believe is the name, but I could be wrong about that. So let's go around here. And what do we got? Where where's the main port? Well, the main portion of the city is obviously gonna be around here. Although you know what, I'm gonna say it's inside it's around over here this way. Um. Oh well, you know what? Maybe we're right over here. Uh, that would that would make enough sense if we were inside that square. Why don't we why don't we guess that? Let's make the guess and the answer was Samarang City was right. Wow, very surprised. We weren't in that square. We were actually over here. And this is I, I don't know what, what kind of building that is, but there you go. We're right near the Western Union. And other stuff. Wow, Semarang City. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm really happy that that turned out correct. Uh, 6272. What do we got here? Wow, what is this? Pirates of the Caribbean? Wow, a boat. And we've got, uh, what is it called? Like the Black Pearl? Is that the name of uh, Captain Jack Sparrow's boat? Well, why don't we go on that theme then? Uh, so where is, where is like, uh, where was like Tortuga? That was in like St. Lucia, wasn't it? Or something like that? Yeah, St. Lucia. That sounds yeah. Is it was is was it in St. Lucia? I feel like it was. I feel like uh yeah, something like that. That sounds sounds good to me. Uh w all right, we got like a little island there, that's kind of thing. Uh, maybe not quite like that. Do we have anywhere else? Well, I mean, I'm not I'm never going to find it exactly, so there's no real point. But sure, let's let's go let's go guess right inside here. I mean, I've got nothing else to I've got nowhere else to guess. All we've got is this. So let's make the guess, and the answer was no, completely wrong. It was Indonesia yet again. Uh, the boat was really cool, actually. Wow, look at this place, um, Pulau Rind Rintja, Pulau. Oh, interesting. There you go. That's where that is where we were. On um, right around uh, right around over here, you know, you keep following, get to this island, Bali, and then you get to uh, these ones over here. Wow, I wonder if this was once like a volcano. It looks like it could have been, and then an eruption so huge that uh, it like blew the entire crater out. That's what it looks like. That's that's really cool. Again, it looks like there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff there. It's a national park, I'm guessing. Don't don't blame it. I mean. It's, uh, like, that is, I mean, it looks, looks really cool. 14 points, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't get it. I was just going off the boat. What do we have here? Well, now this can't be in Indonesia, can it? It can. I don't think it's going to be in Germany. I don't think, well, I don't really know. I, I don't really have any other clues other than that. And this person seems to be doubled. Wow, look at this. It's like a it's like a back pocket on like a pair of jeans that is now sewn onto this guy's coat. Patches and all that stuff. Wow, that is amazing. You could, you could take this, sell it at like a uh like a thrift store somewhere in like LA. People pay like two hundred dollars for that jacket. It's crazy. Well, I mean you probably can't sell it to a thrift store, but uh, you know, you sell it to like a, a designer store. People are gonna people would pay lots of money for something crazy like that. Who knows? Probably not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not into fashion very much. 
Here, we do have some, well, there's not really much of a clue. We've got some Cyrillic down here. Maybe, maybe we are, maybe we're somewhere uh, around, you know, one of these countries over here. Is that possible? Like, uh, Kyrgyzstan, maybe? I don't know about that. It doesn't really look like Kyrgyzstan to me. What else? What do we see here? Honestly, you know, I I just, I, I have no idea. What does this look like to me? We could go, like, Kyrgyzstan, something like that. That could be interesting. Yeah, why don't we go Kyrgyzstan? All right. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that that's an okay idea. Let's do that. Let's go, like, right around here. Let's make the guess, and the answer was Georgia. All right. I mean, it was Cyrillic, and uh, Georgian is a very different-looking language than that. So, you know, Georgia was a bit of a hard one to guess. But the two countries are, well, they're quite far apart. But, you know, there you go. Georgia was the answer, and we were right around there. 1883. Okay, Rock Springs Coal, home of welcome. Well, I believe we're in America. Rock Springs Cove, now uh, coal. Now, where in America is coal a big deal? Coal is a big deal in the Virginias, right? Rock Springs, I don't know. Are there really springs in Virginia? Mm, I'm not certain about that. Maybe we'll be maybe we'll be further west than Virginia. The bike and tire. Okay. The rock. I believe we are certainly in America though. I mean yeah, I doubt there's no way we're anywhere else. I mean the, the blurriness of the picture. We haven't seen a, a a picture blurry like this for this long in a while. You know, usually the pictures kind of clear out. This one this is like old school GeoGuessr. Pictures are all blurry in America. Man, my God, that hasn't uh, that hasn't been the case in a long time. Google should really uh, get their asses all the way here. That help a whole lot. Nah, this looks too westy to me. This looks nah. This there's no way that we're in Virginia or not even in West Virginia here. We are somewhere. Somewhere like an Idaho, like a southern Idaho, like a, uh, like a, like a twin, no, not twin falls, like a, like a burly, like a burly Idaho. Does that make any sense? It makes sense to me, but I have no idea. We could be even further south than that. Not really positive. That's just an American flag. Are there, yeah, there there are probably springs in Idaho, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, that's right, we're in a place called Springs. Something Springs. Well, there's no way we're going to find it. There's no way through looking that we're just going to find it. I mean, we, we got to find a road or a road sign, something, something like that. Wow, still, still nothing. Even though we go over here, that's just, is that just covering a train track? Is that what it is? I mean, there's a there's a big train track in this town. Uh, is there a way? Very green grass. Look how. I mean, look at the look at the real ground over here. Why is this grass so green? Who who bothers to keep this grass so green? It's not even in front of a house. Why does this grass need to be particularly green? I mean, people have eyes. They can just see the hill over here. This hill isn't covered in lush grass. Grass? Grass? It's covered in like. Bushes and stuff, and dirt. People, people walk over here. They, they know the lie. Also, what's up with all these like trash cans and stuff? It's not like there are homes on this. Oh my God, very confusing area that we're in. That's for sure. All right, we got a sign here. We're ending up somewhere. Uh, hopefully, what do we, what do we see on? Oh Lord, come on now, don't do this to me. Just show me this. All right. We've got 80, oh, the 80? Really? 80. 80 is like, uh, 80 is this one. All right, 80 and a 30, but the 30 doesn't really matter. I'm thinking, I think that that's 80. Yeah, that is Interstate 80, Pinedale and Green River. Then we go over there and we see, 
Well, we might as well go to Interstate 80. So 80 goes through Nevada. We could be in California. Or we could be in Utah. Is Utah likely? I don't know. You tell me. What about Wyoming? Rock Springs. There you go. That's where we were, right? Rock Springs? I totally forget. But I think so. I think we were in Rock Springs. We were right there. Let's make the guess. And the answer was, boom, 64, 59. All you need to do is find a highway sign. That'll tell you everything you need to know about America. Now we are in the suburbs, a very nice suburbs. My God, look at this. The roads are like beautiful and clean. It's got this grassy area over here. Nice little new trees. All the houses look uh, look nice. I mean, this one's a. I mean, no, okay, it's a decent size. People got big yards. They got. They don't even bother having fences. This place is so new, and uh, that this they don't even have fences between their homes yet. Believe me, won't be too long. They all will. Uh, but for now, nobody has fences. This guy is mowing the lawn, doesn't even know when he's mowing his neighbor's lawn. Nobody cares. Well, they will care. Jeez, these roads, they haven't even, like, they don't have anything on them, like this? Waiting for new neighbors? Jeez, it's still a nice looking road. But yeah, there you go. It's beautiful. A river and stuff like that. This is a very nice place. The real question is, where are we? Snowy Gret. Georgetown. Georgetown DE, Glen Burnie MD, and Manasaw VA. Alright, so do those places intersect? I mean, not really. I mean, kind of. But, okay, so what is it? Georgetown DE. Well, that's going to be the first one. Where's Georgetown? Do we have any idea? Hey, look at that. There you go. There's the city that I made in uh, City Skylines. Um, where is... Now, this place feels more like a Georgetown than anything else, but I, I, have, I have no idea. Or maybe... Hold on. Where does state... Where are... No, Delaware is... Ah, oh, crap. I don't know state lines. Delaware is this one, right? Okay, there's Georgetown. I'm willing... I'm willing to think... I think this is Georgetown. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not over here. Do I think that's Georgetown? Okay, well, Georgetown, what about Glen Burnie? Is Glen Burnie around here? There's, Salisbur there's Salisbury. Oh, God. How am I going to find Glen Burnie? Do I know where it is? Uh, I never Dickerson, Gainesville, Fricksburg, and what was the last one? Manasaw. Oh, these are these are names of things I'm never gonna find. Oh, there's Manasaw. All right, Manasaw. Oh, we could be we could be around here. That looks big enough. Manasaw right outside. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Manasaw just because I found it. Although I should probably be going Glen Burnie in the middle. I'm gonna go this one. So let's make the guess. The answer was it wasn't Georgetown. It was close to Georgetown though. It was right over here, Heritage Shores on uh, in Bridgeville. Well, should have kept with Georgetown. Sadly, I did not. So, there you go, 17 5, 12 started off in uh, Samarang City in Indonesia. Then we went off to not the Isle of St. Lucia, but over here, this island right there. Wow, beautiful island, uh, beautiful ship in it as well in Indonesia. Then we went not to Kyrgyzstan, but to Georgia, followed by uh, Rocky Springs, Wyoming, and then finally near Georgetown, Delaware, but really it was a place called Bridgeville. Beautiful. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aethervids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. 
Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.